So this story is getting a lot of reaction from our viewers and on social media. Many people wanting to know more about this case and why the LAPD has not made an arrest yet. Yes, I'm admitting I know it was wrong and it was illegal. I'm admitting that. And I'm sorry. When actor Ed Gale was captured on camera, admitting to sexting a 14-year-old boy, allegedly with the intention to meet for sex. Why would you turn everything sexual, Ed? Because this is a whole hookup in the making. Some of his former fans weren't the least bit surprised. Honestly, I was just happy to see him get caught. Jonathan, a New York resident, was a minor when he first saw the 1988 horror movie Child's Play. <laughs> Ed Gale was the actor playing Chucky. It got really weird, and I was put in a situation where I didn't know what to do because this, this horror character that I grew up loving is now trying to hit on me. Jonathan says he was just a fan of Gale's work, but through a social media account, he says the actor began pressuring him for a sexual relationship. Then he started to uh, call me his baby boy, and um, he would say how... Uh, he wanted to be uh, my daddy and stuff like that. It was simply too much for Jonathan, who was just a teen. He stopped communicating with the actor, and he set up an Instagram account to warn other Chucky fans. How many other victims do you have there? I'm going to say 10. 10 kids that you talk sexually online? I guess, yeah. When the child activist group known as the Creep Catching Unit confronted Gail during a sting operation, he simply wouldn't stop incriminating himself. Did you try to solicit child pornography from him? I tried to get him a naked picture from him, yes. The activists say Gail thought he had been communicating with a teen boy, but it turned out to be a decoy from the CC unit. We talked about spanking. With all this information coming from Gail himself, you may be wondering why he hasn't been arrested. The important question there is what his intent was. And if he took steps to affect that intent, to make that intent a reality, that is a crime. Attorney Samuel Dordulian is a former L.A. County prosecutor. He says the investigation into this type of case can be lengthy, but he believes it's only a matter of time before Gail is arrested. It's got to be the forensic on the electronic devices. Uh, that does take some time for them to be able, if, especially if it's encrypted, to get through, get in, look at all the evidence. And if there is evidence to maybe follow up with that evidence, there could very well be many other victims, and maybe they're trying to put it all together as, as one. I have heard from a lot of offenders where they'll even say, they just look young. They're not really young. USC clinical professor Annalisa Enrile says it's not really surprising that Gail is making deviant admissions. They really believe that uh, what they're doing, if not okay, is explainable. They're just really trying to convince themselves and defend their position. How old were these 10 kids? Oh, that I couldn't tell you. That I could not tell you. Were they, how old was the youngest? That I could not tell you. But I will say, all under 18. I spoke with a detective on this case. He says the LAPD is investigating. They're looking at all of Gail's social media accounts. They've confiscated his phones. And as soon as they complete the investigation, they will turn it over to the L.A. County District Attorney's Office.